Hello people and welcome to my latest video. This video, okay, is another Boxing Librarian Hall of All Time Great entry. Um, and as you can see, the fight had been entered into my Hall of All Time Greats, which I'm sure uh, to most hardcore boxing fans would have no problem with joining at all, is the Scotch Wop Johnny Dundee. So let's take a look at some of the stats of Johnny Dundee, this legendary fighter, the latest to join my growing Hall of All Time Greats, which may take some time to grow full. So Johnny Dundee, in his great career, okay, be eight world champions. He also had a staggering number of 32 fights against world champions in a time uh, when there were way less champions and divisions. He also comes in with a massive total of 353 rounds fought against world champions, which is a Herculean amount. And he also beat five individual Hall of Famers from his rather insane tally, okay, of 35 fights against Hall of Fame fighters alone. And Johnny Dundee also comes in with over 300 rounds against Hall of Famers with a total of 335. Now, Johnny Dundee also had 11 world title fights in his career. Um, he made three title defences as a two-weight champion and he fought a total of 149 title fight rounds. And in a number of fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Johnny Dundee came in with a total of 62. Now, calculating the pre-rating era, I have calculated that number would be way over 100, okay, had ratings existed prior um, to where they currently start from. So, insanity, really. And Johnny Dundee also had a total of 29 fights against pound for pound rated fighters. Um, to give you an idea, Manny Pacquiao has not had that many. Okay, he's had more fights against pound for pounders than Manny Pacquiao. And in fact, pound for pound rated as a fighter, Johnny Dundee was pound for pound rated for nearly 10 years, coming in at a total of 9 years. So Johnny Dundee, to me along with a number of these earlier fighters going in, just automatic entries into the Boxing Librarian Hall of All Time Greats, you know, which will grow more slowly. You know, my Hall of Fame is growing. I also will keep this ticket over and keep names being added in. Um, by end of year, my Hall of Fame will be finished. The Hall of All Time Greats should have most of the applicants in. Um, so another first on YouTube, my own Hall of Fame and my own Hall of All Time Greats to create that clear separation between a Hall of Famer and an all-time great, which I've always said existed. I'm out for now.